a dreary morning in Washington, D.C. Layers of donated clothes keep them warm. All they have resides at their feet or in their arms. Finding shelter and food defines their day. Dawood Proctor knows this struggle all too well. I mean, I see people come past and laugh at the homeless and, and you know, might look at, look down on them, but really look at it. A lot of people ain't number one step away from being this way. Franklin Square is one of many places in the nation's capital inhabited by those without a home. And it sits just two blocks from two very different houses. To the west, the White House. To the east, Mayor Kebab House. This is a uh, Sunday morning. Owner Kazi Manan was in early on this particular day. With every dish, is magic is that how much you had to stir it. He and his staff are preparing a special feast for customers at his Pakistani Indian restaurant. Potato, cauliflower, chicken, naan bread, chickpeas, and vegetable biryani. But these dishes are destined for an audience that's rarely welcome in elegant eateries. I knew about this place being here um, and passed it through my everyday travels. For the past few months, Manan has opened his restaurant to the homeless. Oh, we are blessed. Look, blessings are here. They're waiting for us to serve them. Isn't it amazing? Sometimes it comes in 15, 20, sometimes they come. No, like nobody, that we are waiting. God, please send somebody, right? Nearly 20 people on this day, rainy, cold, and wet. Oh, boy. came in from the elements for lunch. What do you guys like to drink? Tea or coffee? They're treated like any other guest. Tea, okay. What about you? Except for one key difference. Coffee. You, brother? They eat for free. Anytime, any day. Restaurant is open. You are most welcome. You are most welcome, you are our guest, just like other people. Anything you like with the menu or with the buffet, you're most welcome, eat free. Yes, it's shocking to me because I didn't think it was brothers out there that really cared for us to, you know, to help support the needs of the homeless. He won without rice. Give him a tandoori chicken, give him a, yeah, potato califrap, and give him, you want bread? So we appreciate this guy right here bringing us down to eat, because sometimes on Sundays it's slow. Well, sometimes we got to go around and beg or try to sometimes, you know, we get a cup and try to make money and try to find ourselves a way out to eat, try to survive out here. You guys are the most important guests for me. Manon's boundless optimism and love of food was not cultivated at a high-profile culinary institute. A lot of ginger and garlic paste. His desire to provide stems from a painful uncertainty that defined his childhood. Kazi Manan grew up on a farm in a small village in Pakistan. He had nine siblings. We didn't have any electricity. We didn't have any running water. Uh, and the school was, believe me or not, was under the tree. My elementary school, we didn't have a building. I study under the tree. When the rains, really hard rain start, teachers say go home because there is no building. To support his family, he went to work at 12, selling ice. The best school was four miles away, so that's how far he walked to get a formal education. In 1996, at the age of 25, Manan says his visa was miraculously approved, so he borrowed money from a cousin for a plane ticket to America. He started as a cashier, earning $3 an hour at this gas station in one of the district's toughest neighborhoods. When I arrive in America, I have three dollars, just three dollars. And I started my life basically with nothing. Hard work would alter the arc of his life. He says he worked double shifts, then multiple jobs. He saved up enough money to buy one limousine. The idea that a kid who came from nothing could one day drive the rich and powerful around in luxury inspired him even more. One limo turned into a fleet of vehicles. His business flourished enough that some 20 years later, he opened his own restaurant. That's called American Dream. You know, you know, this, like this is the only country where you say American Dream, not in any other country. Oh, uh, so yeah, he kind of understands. That's a good thing. Now that makes sense now? Yeah, it makes sense now. 
It doesn't make a lot of sense. He was blessed to obtain things through his struggle, you know, through his struggle. And it's not, he didn't ever give up. But to fully understand this man, you should know one more thing. I love to prepare this food for a homeless shelter. Every Sunday, he makes extra food and delivers it himself to those in need in another part of the city. Come and try. Manon connected a few months ago on okay, social okay. media with volunteers who now spend their Sundays dishing out hot meals to the homeless. And they make you feel that you are valued. For shelter regular Ron Verker, having hope on the Lord's Day means everything to him. It's huge. It's huge to know that this, I'm just this nothing, I'm nobody, but God thinks I'm somebody. Yes, thank you, thank you, yes. Kazi Manan says a skeptic recently told him that if he gives his food away, he'll surely go out of business in no time. Manan believes the more he gives away, the more God will bless him. I think this is all from God. And I, because of my mission is from God. He will always carry with him what his mother told him about holding tightly to his faith in the face of despair. She said, if you share even when you don't have, God will take you from darkness to light. That's the whole answer to life. You know, being blessed by God. And God will help me, and I know he will. You know, just, you gotta make the first step. He ain't gonna do everything for you. J. Corf. In my heart, it feels a blessing. It's a blessing from God. ABC 7 News.